Hi folks, hope everybody's okay today, it's good to see you. I just want to share with you today um, something with you that's really, really important. And I just want to preach to some of the young people out there who are cocky and uh, think it's all a bit of a joke and funny. Uh, about the gospel and about Christianity. He says, I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel, which is not another, but there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we preach or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you than what we have preached to you, let him be accursed. For I said before, so now I say, if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than that what you have preached, receive, let him be accursed. So Paul is saying that anyone who preaches a false gospel, let them be cursed. What is the gospel? The gospel is that Christ came down from heaven, took upon himself human flesh, went to the cross and was being punished on that cross for your sin. The wrath of God came down upon Christ and judged Christ, but it should have been you judged. Now you might mock and you might laugh and you might think it's funny and you might shout obscenities against God and even obscenities against Christians, but at the end of the day, you're going to meet Almighty God whether you like it or not. One day you're going to die, and when you die, there's going to be no hope from science. Science is not going to save you. Philosophy is not going to save you, and religion isn't going to save you. The only hope that you have is Christ, because he says, I am the resurrection and the life. And if you want to destroy, uh, if you want to come back again, if you want to be with God, if you want to conquer death, it can only be in Christ. And like I said, one day you're going to come before Almighty God, and you're going to be judged by God, and you'll be going to heaven, or you'll be going to hell. Uh, depending on your belief and following Christ. Now hell is a place of utter torment and agony and you don't want to go there my friend. You don't want to burn in hell because I tell you what it will be absolutely agony for you and you're heading for that way at the moment if you refuse to trust in Christ. And like I said it's no good bouncing up and down getting angry at me. It's no good going to the nightclub putting your makeup on and going to the nightclub and having a bit of fun it's no good going round to your mate's house and smoking a bit of marijuana or having a few beers. It's no good uh, going round to your girlfriend's house and having sex with her. Because at the end of the day, whether you like it or not, God created this world. God's on the throne. God is sovereign. God is all-powerful. He is over your life. He is over the nation. And you will have to bow before him and give an account of your life. Whether you like it or not. And you can throw all your sophisticated, clever arguments up and say, well, at the end of the day, um, we don't need God because we've got science. But at the end of the day, my friend, you're going to die. And when you die, you're dead. All right? And when you're dead, you ain't got no hope. And no science is going to save you. No religion is going to save you. No philosophy is going to save you. Only Christ. And Jesus said, come to me, all you who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And Christ longs that you would trust in him. He longs that you would find purpose in him. He longs that you would worship and adore him and bow the knee to him. And I beg you to do that. I beg you to look into it, to take it seriously. This is serious stuff. You are messing with Almighty God and he is mighty. And you can't mess with him. You can't... He says, what you sow is what you reap. If you sow sin... If you, so, if you keep lying, you're going to get it back at you. You keep sleeping around with other women or men, uh, as well as your girlfriend and boyfriend, and cheating on your girlfriend and boyfriend, it's going to come back at you. You keep taking drugs, it's going to come back at you. If you keep sinning, it's going to come back on you. It's going to come back on you. Right? What you sow is what you reap. And you need to turn away from that and turn to Christ and trust in Him. And you need to belt up. You need to pull up. Because the way you're going, you're going to end up a dying and early life and ending up in hell. 
alright? You're going to go out one night, get drunk, get into a fight, someone's going to knife you, and you're going to die, alright? Or you're going to sleep around and catch some disease, and that'll be the end of you, alright? Or you're going to get a boyfriend, and he's going to abuse you, and he's going to hit you, and he's going to, he's not going to treat you right, all because you won't listen to God, alright? Have some self-respect. God loves you. He gave his life for you. He shed his blood for you on the cross. And now it's time for you to bow the knee and trust in him. Alright? Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day to take it seriously. And you can laugh at me. You can mock at me. You can jump up and down. And you can think it's all daft and all crazy. But I kid you not. You are messing with almighty God. And you need to turn from the wrath to come. Flee from the wrath to come. There is a wrath coming. There is a judgment coming. There is a wrath coming. And it's coming upon you. And it's coming now. Okay? And you need to flee from the wrath to come. And flee under the blood of Christ. And the banner of Jesus Christ. And I beg that you would do it now. Will you do that? Please come to Christ. Please trust in Him. Please bow the knee to Him. But if you continue to harden your heart. God will deal with you. And you will not want be want to be dealt with by God. You said, Jay, you're trying to put fear into us. You bet. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And you atheists out there, you need to start fearing God. Every one of you atheists knows there's a God. Every one of you atheists knows Jesus Christ is the Son of God. You know the Bible is the Word of God. You know what the truth is. And you're suppressing the truth in unrighteousness. You're suppressing the truth so you can go and do some sins. So you can go have your wicked way with someone or do something that's not right. You want to do it your way and you don't want God telling you what to do. Okay? So you need to repent. You need to turn away and you need to bow the knee now while you have the chance. Now stop mocking God. Stop taking the mick out of his preachers and start bowing the knee. Because I tell you this. I tell you this. Within the next couple of years... My God will wipe out the whole atheist world at the blink of an eye. Okay? My God can do that. And if you keep mocking him, and you keep doing that, my God will take out nations, he'll take out countries, he'll take out cities, and he'll take out movements that oppose him and are mocking him. And you atheists out there are mocking God. You're mocking preachers, you're mocking Christ. You, you're, not, you're not only just getting on doing your own thing, but you're going out purposely to mock preachers, to mock Christians, and to mock the Bible, and to mock God. Well, let me tell you something. God will not be mocked. Okay? God will not be mocked. So I tell you this, and I warn the nations. I warn the nations today. I warn America. I warn the, the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom is going to be splitting up into different parts and be no more united if it does not repent from its sin. And America will no longer be a greatest nation in this world. It will be broken up into different states if the nations do not repent and turn to Christ and turn now. Day, today is the day of salvation. This is serious business. You are mocking God America. You are mocking God England. And it's time that you are accountable before Almighty God. You judiciary in the judge, you who are in the, you people who are in the courts, you people in the courts, you need to stand for righteousness. And you need to do the right thing, and you need to defend liberty. You politicians in Washington and in Parliament, you need to repent of the diabolical things that you are bringing in at this present time that is anti-God and anti his word and the atheist movement in America and the atheist movement in the United Kingdom needs to repent and repent now because you are bringing disaster upon America and you are bringing disaster in the United Kingdom for the things that you're doing okay you are you are an extremist movement as atheist pumping hate and bitterness rather than promoting national unity and getting everybody to work together and be together, okay? And you need to change your attitude and your ways because all of us must love one another. All of us must be together and, and care for one another. 
but you are bringing a bitterness, a bitter spirit within our democracies as atheists, militant atheists, and you need to change your attitude, okay? But the point is this, it says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, and you need to fear God. We need to fear and reverence God today. All the atheist blogs need to fear God. Okay? Our God is a great God. He's a mighty God. And every atheist out there knows there's a God. You know there's a God. You need to repent and bow the knee to Jesus Christ while you can. Okay? And I pray that you will do that. I pray that you will seek God. That you will find God. And so I say to the atheist, flee from the wrath to come. I say to America, flee from the wrath to come. And I say to Britain, flee from the wrath to come. Because the wrath is coming. And when it falls, you will wish you listened to this message. God bless you. Jesus said, come to me, all you who are weak and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and learn of me. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Christ longs for you to come and trust in him. He longs that you'll find peace in him. He longs that you will believe in him and find peace and rest for your soul. So this is a message to the mockers of God. Those who have mocked God, politicians, nations and, and movements, you mock him and you come in under the wrath of God. Okay? Thank you for listening and take care.